Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to be looking at Your Wear's new boost feature. And basically what Your Wear is, is it's a Instagram for vibe coder. So you can create something, you can add it to your profile and you can share it to your friends or to other people and have basically like your own feed. And with Your Wear's new boost feature, you can not only remix existing projects in the main feed, but you can also just enter a prompt, build something simple like a hero section for your project or even an entire landing page, and then click on boost to see how AI can enhance your entire design in just a couple of seconds. So if this sounds something interesting for you guys, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in shopify.com and I really like this section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this, right, go like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click here, go to my recents and update, upload this screenshot. And then we can add a text saying, create a high impact checkout statistics section with a bold headline with the text of the headline and basically making it as similar to the Shopify page as possible. Also adding this deep green background with white text for contrast Add a subtle credibility note referencing an external study. So let's see how, how this does. So let's click on submit. And surprisingly, we do get a great first rough draft of this. So there's no better place for you to build the world's best uh, converting checkout. We get the left side over here and we get this right side. And then we have this little text over here based on external study with a big three global consulting firm in April, 2023. So I guess it did read the screenshot pretty well. It also read our you know prompt very well. And you know, for a first time, it's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty good. So what we're gonna do here is now try to boost this design. So we have this design over here on the left and we could go ahead and select different sections and kind of, you know, reprompt that section. So for example, we can select this, um, this text over here and maybe change the color if we wanted to, right? But let's go ahead and just click on this boost button over here. And boom, after this boost, we have this nice little upgrade here. We have the image in this kind of, um, with this interactive effect with the mouse. We have some nice gradients over the text, right? Um, we have some little effects going on over here. We have some little particles floating around. You could eventually, you know, just take away the gradient if you don't want it. Um, again, we can select this and for example, just say, make this white and click on enter. Yeah, and then you see it turns white. So basically it's it's like that. It's it's a, let's say like an internal designer for you built inside of your wear that you can create something simple and you can use it to boost your design. Now, obviously once you're done, you can go ahead and click on publish and your wear creates a shareable link for you. So you can just copy this link and send it to anyone you want. Now we use Shopify as a reference. They have a nice design, so it's quite a cheat code, right? So. What if we wanna just build something from scratch? So here in the prompt, it says, make me a personal portfolio. So let's just do something like that. Make me a personal portfolio. Click on enter. And your work creates this nice little portfolio. It's actually very nice for an AI design, right? So we have this top part with this little animation up here. We have this nav bar um, that takes you to the different sections about me, download CV, your skills, projects, right? We have these little um, pills over here that look nice, contact me, and then the footer, which looks beautiful. Now, again, we can go ahead and click on the boost button down here just to see how your wear boosts this portfolio. All right, and after this boost, you can see we have this nice little lo loader and we have the name, we have, you know, the role, we have the person here on the right with this nice little effect. Again, if you don't like the colors, you can just go ahead and select certain things and make them, you know, another color but we have this nice little blue with this cool effect. And if we scroll down, we have this we, we have these beautiful little sections over here about me, my skills, my work. And then you can see that you can hover over these different sections. Yeah, you can hover over these different sections and then eventually view this project, right? You can you can see it has like this nice little animation. And then go in the, down here and you can see this nice little contact section with the footer at the very bottom. Now, another thing that I have in mind that we can create is maybe like some type of game, right? So I can scroll down here and we have some interactive things like this, 
but I also see like some types of games. Like this kind of looks like a game over here, right? Um, we can also see this looks like a game over here, right? We could also remix them. This one as well, this one as well. This one is like some type of flight simulator. So what we can do is we can go ahead over here and write a prompt for a game. So let's say build me a brick breaker game. Let's just click on enter. All right, and we get some type of brick breaker game, right? So we can move around with the mouse. We see that there are different colors, right? So it works, we can just go ahead and, you know, break a few bricks. So yeah, it was pretty fun to play, um, but you know, I would like to enhance this design. It's pretty simple. I mean, again, we just built a, we just had a, you know, five word prompt, but we can go ahead and boost this to see how this would look like. So if I click on boost and check this out. I mean, let's just refresh this. We have this loading page, which is great for a game, right? And it says over here, transform the simple brick breaker game into a visually stunning neon breaker with cyberpunk aesthetics. So already this looks pretty crazy. We also have the ability to move around with our keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the game and look, we get some cool little particle splashes once we hit the different bricks, right? Beautiful little design kind of reminds me of like a Miami Vice type of thing, which is pretty cool. Um, again, we can move around with our, with um, my keyboard, right? And yeah, this is just another great example of what we can do with, with your wear. Another thing that I forgot to mention, which is also pretty cool is that once you have this boost feature ready, what you can do is you can also work around this boost feature, meaning you know, let's say that you don't want this pink color, you don't want these blue colors, you want all the colors to be kind of green or all the colors to be white, right? What we can do is we can just prompt that again and it'll basically work off that prompt inside of this new design. So in this case, I'm saying make all of the colors pink and white. So let's just click enter to submit. And then at the end, we get something like this pink breaker. So you can see we have the pink and the white colors. We can start a game. And then you can just see that it's all pink and white, right? So this is just with like a very simple prompt, like uh, like we just said earlier, let's make the colors just pink and white. So another quick game that we can do is with pool, like make me a billiard slash pool game. So we can click on enter to submit and we can build some type of pool game like this, right? Where we have different types of um, colors everywhere, right? You can see the striped and the solid ones. Just trying to get a hang of how to do this. Yeah, perfect. Pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and try to boost this by clicking here on boost, boost this website's design. And once the boost is done, we get this neon pool and we get these directions here. This looks very nice over here. And I guess we can just pull this and like, go somehow. Okay. That was the other side. Oh, nice. And look at this. We have our little diamonds here on the side. We have our, the holes over here, the pockets, right? And we can go ahead and try to do this again and play like that. So as you can see here on the sides, it said on the side, it says implemented significant design improvements, added stylish buttons with hover effects, enhanced visual elements with shadows and gradients, improved table rendering with diamond sites and cushions, added game information panel, score tracking system, sound controls, and created a more polished user interface with feedback elements. And you can see all of the thinking that it's done. So you can see there's some key improvements, better topography, enhanced animations, right? And then at the end, it just states, transform the pool game into an immersive neon style experience with a sleek loading screen, futuristic UI, and so on and so forth. So yeah, um, building games is actually pretty cool here. Now we could also do the same thing with a remix thing. So for example, we can get this, right? We can just open it to see how this looks like. And you can see it's kind of like a um, CV for a scrum master. You can see kind of a little bit about what they do. And we can go ahead and try to boost this design, right? So let's go ahead and click on remix over here. And after a few seconds, really like 10 seconds, it opens up, you get the exact copy of this, 
and you can go ahead and click on boost over here and look at this after just one try we get this we have the name the nav bar it still keeps the same language the spanish right it still keeps the same functionality so in the in the previous one we just had like a little banner now we have this calendar thing that takes us down here which is much more sophisticated right we have this hero section which we can replace this image with an image of this person um we can we have here like the different contacts we have two call to actions we go down here we have this beautiful little about me section with this interactive image right and we have the professional experience and this nice little timeline view which is looking amazing and we have these little cards with the tools that he uses and the results that he's provided and the different certifications and then again another call to action that brings them down to the calendar which is down here right um so yeah this is just a handful of different examples of what we can do with this boost feature so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video today it was fun working with your wear right so you can basically just build a prompt or add a prompt um, remix something and boost it with ai boost the actual design with ai feel free to check out their website the link is down in the description and yeah hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching goodbye